Proverbs 25, 2. It is the glory of God to conceal a matter. To search out a matter is the glory of kings. Day number 25. You know, wisdom is a hide-and-go-seek search. This tells you a little bit about our God here, that he loves to hide things. Now, he doesn't do it vindictively. He doesn't do it uh, cruelly. He hides because he loves the search. He loves to know, do you really want to know about my wisdom? Do you really want to spend time in my presence? Or you just want a quick blessing? Or you just want a quick answer? You know, God conceals things. Jesus said it this way, that God hides from the wise and reveals things unto the babes, the humble, the, the childlike. So when God's hiding something, it, it's, it's part of the journey of faith is to search it out. He wants to see, do you really want to know the clarity on this? Do you really want to know his guidance? Do you really want to have his opinion on this? Do you really want to understand what God is doing in this circumstance? Then you got to pay the price. You've got to wait on the Lord, search the Lord, ask questions, get advice, search it out. Then when you come upon it, the search has made the finding even sweeter than honey when you get the wisdom that was unlocked to you that God had hidden, not because he's mean. It's like grandpa when he plays hide-and-go-seek with my grandkids. It's no fun to win. You want them to find you. So you make noises, you cough, you sneeze, you, you know, who, who wants to hide in such a way that, I can't find grandpa, and, you know, I won, I beat my four-year-old, I'd go seek. That's a demented person. You want them to find you. I found you. My grandkids always grew up, growing up said, thought grandpa's terrible at hide and go seek. He always gives himself away. God is terrible at hiding when it comes to people genuinely wanting to find him. God wants to be found. That's the message of Proverbs. Wisdom is available. It's crying out. Listen to it, and you'll be blessed. Walk in it. Have a great day.